Hello there. Hello there, it's Jeff here. Uh, we're going to put together the Caravan Birdhouse Kit. So let's see what's inside. A whole bunch of 3D printed parts. So there's uh, the main body of the thing, and yours might be a different color than mine. I think there's some are yellow, some are uh, white, some are turquoise. Uh, mine happens to be yellow. And so uh, the, you'll notice right there on the edge, there's probably a little bit of support material and that just breaks off. We don't need that. So we get a nice clean caravan body. We've got our two side panels here, which you can sort of see how those are gonna fit on there. We've got our decorative panels here couple of rectangles, those are going to be door parts, so are these. Uh, this is the sort of trailer hitch part there. We've got our tires. And then one uh, spare tire. Yours might still have support material on it, which again, that'll just come right off. You can see is the spare tire, it's got sort of a curved angle on the back of it. A couple of windows, uh, rectangular windows, and then there's the little door windows that go in the door. Again, they probably have support material attached. You can see how those will just pop off of there like that. Little round windows. Don't need the support material. Uh, our fenders there, and a couple of little door frames. So everything with this kit goes together with glue. Uh, you can use different kinds of glue. Um, you need to use glue that will hold plastic together. Uh, so like a, a clear two-part epoxy is an option, but my favorite is always just um, super glue or CA glue um, because it's fast. Um, but and I say this every time, uh, you gotta be careful when you're working with super glue because it's, uh, it will bond your skin instantly uh, if you get it on your fingers. So either wear gloves or be super careful. Um, yes, let's get started putting everything together here, shall we? Uh, so we'll do the, um, we'll glue the side panels on first and you can see how they sort of press in place like this, you know, that could be enough to hold it on depending on, you know, how you want it fit. And the fact that they come off is nice if you ever need to clean out the inside. Um, so maybe I'll glue one on, but leave the other one just snapped in place um, so that I can uh, take it off and clean out the inside of the birdhouse if I ever need to. Um, I think this one uh, snapped on really well. This one isn't quite as tight a fit, so I think I'll glue this one. Um, so, and it doesn't take very much glue to uh, stick these things together. I'm just gonna do a couple of dots, very conservative amount. Um, that way also it won't be running all over the place. So the two sides of the birdhouse are identical. Um, they're just mirror image of each other. So we're gonna uh, start with one side here. Um, and we'll do this panel first. So you can see how that kind of goes there. It gives us room for our fender and for our tire like that. So let's actually start with our fender and tire assembly. Use a little bit of this super glue activator to speed things up. Put a little dot of glue here. And 
and that's my fender and tire unit that goes together. And the activator is great because it just makes it uh, instantly bond. So we're going to do the same thing over here. Here's our other fender and tire assembly, just like that. So those will be ready to go on when the time comes, and actually now might be a good time to start with those. So you can see there's a couple little holes in the back of that, and there's a couple holes there. That's so that you can visually kind of line them up. So you get them on top of each other. There is the option to put this thing together with screws, but honestly, I think the glue is a lot faster and easier. So that's what we're gonna go with. Put a little bit of activator on there. Just a dot of glue in the middle. And I'm gonna get those lined up just right. There we go. That's on there. Next up, our little decorative cover there so you can see how that fits around looks pretty good already starting to look very trailery there's also these pieces honestly it might be easier to put these on first see how they kind of fit into the grooves there like that our little upper door piece and our lower door piece so those will fit on there uh, we'll do that next, I think. So a little bit of activator, a little dab of glue, and that just pops right into its grooves there. Same with this piece. Pops right in place. The upper door frame should be pretty easy. Let's do that next. Now this one's kind of skinny and I'll get real close to the camera so you can see it has a flat side and it has a round side. So we're gonna be careful to glue the flat side down. Okay, and that just fits right over top of the door frame like that and gives you this fun little border kind of look. But I think this might actually, we might want to put this thing on first. I think we do, so let's do that. So just a few dots of glue on this here and there. right over top of our uh, fender piece and right around our bottom door piece there. So that looks nice and that's solidly attached. And just gonna put a little bit of glue along the flat side of my door frame here. fits very nicely around the door there. Gives it a little bit of a nice white border, kind of pops. So then we've got these little windows. You can see, again, if I bring this closer, it's got kind of a window sill, and it's got kind of an awning. And the awning is the top part, see? So we're gonna make sure that that stays on top. Put a little more activator on there. I'm pretty sure this will just kind of pop in place. Yeah, it's kind of a 
press fit, honestly, this one might not even need a lot of glue, but I'm gonna put a little bit on it just in case. from around the outside of this. I think that might help it pop in a little better. You might want to do the same thing too if yours is uh, giving you a hard time, if you're having difficulty fitting it in place. Um, you can just run around the outside of the border with a knife like this, or uh, a safer option would probably be to just rub it with a little sandpaper. A nail file works really well for this too, like an emery board or a metal nail file. Those work as well. Let's try that again. There it is. Took a little bit of cleanup, but once you clean up the edge a little bit, it pops right in there. Probably because of how it was printed, the orientation at which it was printed. So we got a couple other things that pop into place. There's our little window for the door area. Same kind of deal here. This one should just kind of pop in place, but I'm going to clean up the bottom of this one too. I think that'll just make it easier for me to put in place. I'll show you how I would do this uh, with like a nail file or a piece of sandpaper. Just run around the outside while rotating the piece. Not everybody feels comfortable using a utility knife for this kind of thing. Sandpaper is just a, a little bit easier to handle for some. So there we go. Let's see if that pops in a little easier now. Now I reckon because this is a birdhouse, they probably want this to go with the thick side toward the bottom. So yeah, cleaning up the edge, that popped right in there. And again, that's really quite a nice snap fit. I don't even think I'm gonna add glue to that part uh, because it is uh, just really snapped in there super nicely. So that, I believe, is everything for one side. Uh, so next we have this back part here, and there's two pieces that go on the back part. There is this little, uh, the main entrance to the birdhouse. So that is gonna glue right on here. And this is a, a not a snap fit, this is a glue situation. Um, so a little bit of activator around the opening, if you're using activator. You don't need to use activator. Um, you just give it a little bit of extra time. pretty nice. Fairly well centered. And then there's another piece that goes here right on top of that lip goes this sort of trailer hitch looking thing. So that's going to go right there. So a little bit of activator there. And I'm 
going to put my glue right along the shiny bottom edge. And a little bit along the back edge. And again, you've got those alignment holes. So we're going to keep those lined up and just press that into place. I'm going to kind of just hold it for a second while it cures. There we go. So there's our trailer hitch. And that's one side completely done and the back completely done. So I can flip it over and do the other side here real quick. So you can see, oh, I, I almost forgot the um, spare tire. How does that go on? That goes, where does the spare tire go? only fits one way. Hmm. I have to look at the picture, see where the spare tire goes. Okay, doing this the same way as I did last time. I'm going to start with the um, wheel and fender assembly. door piece next. Slots into its little grooves there. And the top door piece. Do the decorative side panel next. I'm going to kind of hold this one down for a second. good. And I'll do the door frame, the little border that goes around the door frame. You'll notice how I'm being very careful not to get any super glue on my fingers. And so far I have been successful. I'm going to do the same thing I did last time with the two window pieces and just clean up the uh, bottom edge of each. So that they fit a little more easily. in there so nice I'm not even gonna bother with glue. Same with this one. I think you know honestly the uh, sandpaper board was even easier for this so I'm gonna do sandpaper on this one again.
Okay, that should just pop in there. Great. There we go. Our caravan birdhouse. Not too bad, and you'll see the little uh, hole at the top so that you can hang this from a tree. It also has some, uh, like a mounting plate on the bottom in case you wanna, uh, you know, these, each one of these holes has a thick perimeter around the inside. So if you need to uh, drive it into a post or a board or something like that, you've got uh, some mounting options there. But I think uh, just hanging there is gonna work for me. And I've got a big dogwood tree in my yard that uh, would be a perfect spot for this. So that's where this one's going, I think. Uh, so I hope you have fun putting together your caravan birdhouse. And if you have any questions, just uh, shoot us an email, give us a call, and uh, we're always here to help.